So it looks like we're going to be getting a lot more diversity in Dragon Ball Legends. What is going on guys? Corrosive Bully here. And the new V-Jump scans have just came out about a week ago, a week and a half ago. Uh, so we will be going over the Trio de Dangers. Uh, the Trio of Danger as you guys know very well and good. Uh, we will try and break down and predict what these guys are going to be doing in the game going forward. Uh, as well as what I believe they'll be doing in game. So... Let me know down in the comments if you guys will be going crazy on the summons for these guys. Uh, give me your perspectives as what you guys think they will be doing in the game. And if you want to see more Dragon Ball Legends content, like and subscribe. And with that said, let's just get into it. So, Bergamo, Lavender, and Basil will be coming into the game. Um, it's kind of early to kind of figure out what exactly they will be doing. Uh, but I think we can kind of relatively deduce... Uh, what their kits are going to involve. Um, in terms of Bergamo, it's kind, it's kind of up in the air whether he will have a transformation, because as you know, in Dragon Ball Super, uh, his main ability is that he, the more power that he absorbs, the greater in size he grows. Um, and since there is no like enlargement mechanic, there's no great apes or anything in the game, I don't necessarily see that being the case. Uh, but they could probably uh, adjust his kit a little bit so that way as he takes damage he gets buffs uh in game lavender i think is more or less going to be pretty straightforward uh his melee and his key blast arts will probably have poison ability and um, create residual damage on your enemy and then in terms of what type of unit they're all going to be i think basil's probably going to be the only one that might end up being the blast type unit uh, whereas Bergamo and Lavender will more than likely be melee types. Um, maybe Bergamo will be a defensive type. You know, it's kind of up in the air. Again, it's really early to tell. Uh, these guys will be coming out, I believe, in October of some sort. Probably mid-October. Uh, so we got some time before they come in. And the community will be able to kind of deduce and break things down. Um, I don't necessarily know how to translate Japanese. So I can't really tell what the V-Jump scans are exactly depicting or describing for each of these characters, but kind of up in the air. Now in terms of the different character lists, uh, I have a couple ideas as to what they might end up going under. Um, my hope is that they end up filling out the powerful opponent uh, tag. The reason being is due to the fact that we already have four very competent units. Uh, to go on the team the only thing that these guys are missing or that this particular tag is missing is a good green unit that will actually buff their z ability um, and it's very likely that one of these three units will be green in color and with if that is the case then between those three and however you want to set up your bench units uh, you can have a fully optimized powerful opponent team to kind of go into pvp and uh, that's exciting due to the sheer fact that the meta is kind of run by fusions. It's run by Saiyans. It's run by um, hybrids is now kind of running the meta. Uh, LF Zenkai Gohan is a powerhouse and he's a lot worse than what Vegito Blue was when he first came out back at the second anniversary. Um, so to have a fully realized team like powerful opponents actually be extremely exciting for the meta and kind of turn heads um considering that most people will probably have this fusion zamasu uh the maja vegeta banner had this transforming cell he is extremely he's in a very good strong uh red unit go tanks absorb boo uh he's a good unit but he's a bit of a glass cannon in the sheer fact that he puts out a lot of damage potential but is not able to take hits um and this Turles is good, but uh, he's, uh, these other three uh, have a bit more of a longer longevity in the game, in my personal opinion. So, powerful opponents is my hope. If they end up going powerful opponents, I know I'm going to be summoning on these guys like crazy, uh, as I love the uh, as I love the Doggo twins or the trio. So we'll we'll have to see. Uh, the only thing that kind of concerns me is. The only thing that concerns me is that they go into a new type of tag for Universe 9. Um, as you can see here with Universe 6, uh, Universe 6, outside of this EX red hit, 
has not really gotten any new units put into the game. And <laughs> this hit came at a really bad time with, Be with Vegito Blue. And these three here have been not getting the support that they've needed since they've come out. I think, I think they're coming up on maybe a year, a little over a year being in the game. And there's just no support for Universe 6 whatsoever. Um, I guess the hope being is that in terms of this particular tag, obviously we got the EX Raditz that got a recent uh, free Zenkai for everybody. So the hope, I guess, for a lot of people is that one of these guys in the tag here will get a free Zenkai. More than likely, it's going to be like this this Frost, maybe. Uh, this Khalifa might. This Kaba might. It really just depends. But um, the Danger Trio is not going to benefit from a tag like this. And for further validity in terms of that, if we go to Universe 2, Universe 2 has basically been defaulted to the Female Warriors tag. Um, the only people buffing this tag is Rosie and Kakunsa. Rosie hasn't been back in the game since her inception, I believe. Uh, so running a Universe 2 team is <laughs> very hard to come by. You rarely ever see it playing in the, in the game. Not to mention, you got Ree Brienne, who is the frontrunner of this particular tag group. And she doesn't do anything for these characters. She's just there. So to see the uh, Danger Trio actually default down to a Universal tag like this, um, especially considering that they are the main front runners of Universe 9, and I don't see Legends unless they start just throwing in random EX units. I do not see them running... I don't see them incorporating any other Universe 9 characters in the game, which will basically make them dead on arrival, and it's sad to think that that might be the case, but um, again, I'm still kind of banking on the powerful opponents. Um... And the last tag that I idea that I had was the Universe Survival Saga tag. Now, this tag isn't much of anything right now. It's just a culmination of all the characters that have, were in the Tournament of Power in the series. And while this tag doesn't necessarily buff up anybody in particular, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla is an extremely good unit. She's kind of the front runner of your fusions team. Uh, you got Adult Gohan. Uh, which transforms into Ultimate Gohan. Uh, he's really, really good and has really fleshed out the hybrid tag, um, considering that they went without a blue unit for a really long time. Um, so I can see the Danger Trio actually being involved in this and actually being the first uh, units to actually buff Universe Survival Saga characters. Um, I think it's a little unlikely, just because it's going to be a little bit, I think, until we start seeing a lot of Tournament of Power characters coming into play. But it's still a strong possibility that, that that's where these guys could end up falling under. Uh, we'll just have to see. Again, Powerful Opponents, I think, is the best place for them. And while this is mainly just a group of characters that Goku and Vegeta have fought um, throughout the entire franchise... Um, that doesn't necessarily exclude them either. Um, it's just a matter of how they want to go about doing it, I suppose. Because, like, you got EX Chilled here. And I don't think the other... I don't think the other Chilled is in here as well. Uh, no, it doesn't... Actually, he is. So, I mean... Yeah, if you look at it like this, Goku and Vegeta never fought Chilled at any point in the series. That was from the special uh, with Bardock. So, the fact that these guys are on powerful opponents tag, um, but Bergamo, Lavender, and Basil potentially might not be, I, I, I don't see that being the case. I think it's very, very likely that they will fall on powerful opponents. Now, one last thing though before I end this video, the only other concern I have for these characters is that they end up doing something like Hit did for Universe 6, and that is his Z ability buffing uh, dual colors. Now, can I see these characters possibly buffing one color on top of a particular tag? Absolutely. I, could, I think that could potentially be a case uh, for it, but in terms of 
just straight kit design and what these guys are able to do in the game. I just do not see them having a dual colors unit. Um, because honestly, I think if they did the dual color buff, I think it, they'd be more dead on arrival than they are if they had their own individual tag. At least with their individual tag, they could at least boost each other up. But depending on what their colors are, like having a uh, mono or dual color booster just wouldn't make sense to me. Um, but either way, it's still too early to tell. These guys are probably going to be making their way to the game around mid-October or so. Uh, probably second, third week. Um, so we'll just have to kind of play by ear and just see what kind of happens and uh, just wait for any previews. But again, guys, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Uh, what are your predictions for these three characters? Do you think they're going to do something different in terms of the meta and kits? Do you think there's something that uh, will help them stand out in the crowd? Uh, just let me know down in the comments. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.